Welcome back to school of 2018 slash 2019 school year. Kara just was recently at the orange and black back to school bash. Orange and black Back to School Bash is a gathering of the community to celebrate the opening of school. We have 45 different organizations that are supposed to be here, anywhere from the St. Louis County Bookmobile to Rittner Child Nutrition Services, otherwise known as the cafeteria folks, and uh, the PTOs from each school. Most schools are represented, and uh, some clubs, sports organizations, they're here, the band is here. It's just a good way to open up school. the new school year comes new changes. Let's see what's new at Ridner High School. We have a few new teachers to the building this year. Miss Moore is in the World Language Department. We have Mr. Pekoski in the Social Studies Department and they are all new to the district. Miss Metz is joining us from an elementary school and she is in the English language learners area. And then finally, Dr. Schulte is joining us on the administrative team. As far as our administrative responsibilities, we've changed things up a little bit. Instead of doing by grade levels, we are now working with Alphabet. And the reason we're doing that is so parents can learn a single administrator for all of their children. So the last thing I'd like to talk with you about are hats, hoods, and IDs. Have seen, I am sure, we are welcoming students to wear hats if they would like to. It is our expectation that you have your ID on you and when an adult asks you for that, that you respectfully show them your ID. You will also need your ID to go through three of the four cafeteria lines, and if you don't have it, you will be directed to a single line for all students that don't have their IDs. Hi, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about hall passes. First, you cannot be in the halls during lunchtime. When you go to the cafeteria, you must stay in the cafeteria until the bell rings. If you are interested in going to the library, you need to first go to the library and then that's where you will stay. You cannot be in the halls again without a hall pass. No hall passes will be written by your teachers at the beginning of the day, during lunch, or at the end of the day. And if you need to go to the restroom or your locker, etc., in any of the other classes, make sure your teacher writes you a hall pass. Expectations for the new gym floor. Uh, first of all, I think it's gonna take the whole school community for us to all band together to make sure it stays in a great condition this year, which is no food, no drinks. We have to have the appropriate shoes on when we're in the gym, so that means no boots, uh, no dirty shoes. You gotta make sure if you outside, if it's raining or you run the mud, when you come in the gym, you gotta switch your shoes, I'm gonna say. It's gonna take all of us all to band together and keep it going for everyone because if the floor looks good, it's a representation of us all. Our fall sports are just about to start their first competitions of the season. Here's information about their games coming up. Chess sports, sports fans. fans, we're back. I'm Tierra Waters. And I'm Ronnie Rowe. And let's go over when your favorite Huskies are having their home opener. The Women's Volleyball Home Opener is September 5th versus Hazelwood West at 5 30. Boys Soccer, September 7th versus Francis Howe North at 4. Women's Softball is September 6th versus Afton at 4 15. Swimming will be September 17th versus Hazelwood West at 4. Girls Tennis is August 31st 
at 4 p.m. Girls Golf will be August 29th versus Parkway Central at 3 30. Boys Varsity Football Home Opener is August 31st versus Francis Howell North at 7 p.m. Make sure you guys come out and support your husky. And remember to show up and show out. Well, that's our show. You can follow us for more Renner news at RennerLive.org or follow us on social media like Facebook, Instagram, even Twitter. Whoa, that's a lot. We'll see you in September for our next show. See you then. Bye.